Powerline TV. Power to transform lives. Hello, 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 lovely viewers. Welcome to another night of the week of the altar 2024. Wow, what an amazing experience we have had at week of the altar 2024. And tonight is another night. Today is day number 10. And my name is Onesimus Tete and I am your host for today. Wherever you are watching us from, from the US, from the UK, from the Europe, from, from, from Asia, anywhere in africa in ghana we are coming to you live from the studios of royal house chapel oil dome of betabi lamte runabout accra ghana if you are watching us stay connected because the power of the altar is going to reach you wherever we wherever you are and we are going to I have some two wonderful guests in the house that we are going to engage in some conversations and discussions tonight but before i introduce them we'll take a quick recap of what happened at day nine of the week of the altar 2024 yesterday at the oil dome it was a night of power and presence and i wanted to catch a quick recap and we shall come back with more discussions and uh, more conversations with the two wonderful guests in the house so let's catch a quick recap and i'll come back your way that is carrying your miracle they are on a journey and in 2024 this year they shall locate you when they locate you they shall open their treasure and delilah fasted something with their words until his soul was unto death so the money that was exchanged is not the main target against the person it's the soul of the person so when the devil is after your soul, he's after your prosperity. Tonight, anybody after your soul, hey. shall perish. Perish. 
tonight and that body that is holding your soul I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost there is my fire yes no human wisdom no human understanding no gathering Jesus. they shall gather together but the gathering is not of me for no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper yes and every tongue that shall rise against you in judgment clap your hands and thunder and the falsehood and any conjectures of the minds of men against the righteous cut off let God arise let go let go arise rise Welcome back lovely viewers. This is day number 10 of week of the altar 2024. We just caught a quick recap of what happened yesterday, day number 9, with Reverend Gabby and the Apostle General at the Oyo Dome. Wherever you are watching us from, please make sure to send in your messages to plus two three three two zero zero five one five two five three on WhatsApp and we shall do what to read your comments, your testimony and your prayer requests. Tonight, just as i said we have some two amazing amazing guests in the house that i will quickly introduce for us to kickstart our conversation um, i have professor nobo kumewu who is one of the lecturers at the christian leadership college of right house chapel professor you are, you are welcome you are thank welcome you. thank you very it's good much. to have you here uh, you. how has the fasting been for you so far um i'm getting on you're getting on God has get been good. <laughs> And we also have Reverend Michael Asabre, who is the head pastor for Accra Newtown Assembly. Reverend Michael, you're welcome. Thank you. How is the fasting going? It's been great. It's been great. It's been Very great. You're welcome. Great. You're welcome. Thank you. So quickly, we'll go into the conversations for tonight. Okay. Um, this is day number 10 okay. of week of the altar 2024. And I'm sure we have been partakers from the very first day. Mm -hmm. And I just want to pick your mind on what has been your feel of the 20 of week of the other 2024 for you what has it been like i mean the fasting and the prayers um how has it been like for you how has it been like it's been powerful yeah it's really been powerful you know the week of the altar mm. has been the foundation for each year for me okay so i always look forward to it mm. and make sure i get something out of it yeah the prophecies the anointing yeah. the tokens yeah it's, it's powerful yeah and, for me and my family, mm -hmm. uh, we don't joke with it. We don't joke with it oh, at all. Oh, yes. And this year, 2024, was no exception. Yeah, yes. yeah. And already we are 10 days into it, but you can feel it. that it's a bit different yeah. from the other years. Exactly. Pre uh, Reverend, Reverend Michael, yeah. you as an assembly pastor, um, how, has it, how has it been like for you at your assembly? Um, how are your, your members partaking? How is the church living bread? We, we, we bought our um, li uh, our living bread from the shopping mall. Okay. My okay. senior deacons are in charge. Okay. So we, we when you come to Accra Newtown, mm. we have our unleavened bread. Yeah. We have packaged in the way I hear come on has now. Come on now. We are full of it. Very hygienic. Yeah. And um, yeah. we are going right house chapel standard. Yeah. And we do live streaming. So okay. we receive everything wow. directly from wow. Apostle General. Wow. And I can only describe it in five pieces. Come on. As now. we have a right house chapel. It's been powerful. Come on. The praise, the praise, the prayer, the prayer, the presence, the presence. and the prophetic. Yeah, hey, the it's five piece. The, the five piece are working. It's at working. Accra Assembly. Accra the Accra Newtown, Newtown Assembly. Assembly. The Faith five pieces are working. The five pieces. And I'm sure wherever you are watching us, you can see the five pieces are working for you. The prayer, the praise, the prophetic. I mean, it has been on another level this year. Yes. And our father this year says that the theme is be strong and be courageous. Mm -hmm. And last year, he said that the blood will speak for us. Sure. But this year, he has shifted the, the dimension a little bit. And he says that be strong and courageous. And for, 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 for you, what do you think will be the reason or the essence for us to, have, uh, have to, ask for, for us to be strong yes. and courageous in 2024? Um, if, if I may start. Yeah. You know, last year had been tough. Yeah. The year 2023. Yeah had been scary very scary and if you you go through a year like that mm -hmm. it makes sense 
to encourage us yeah. to be strong and be courageous. Mm. Just like mm. Joshua, a young man who was taking over from Moses. Yeah. Three yeah. times he was told, be strong. Joshua, be strong and be courageous. Be, courageous. Wow. be strong, be courageous. Yeah. So this year, 2024, telling us mm. the theme being be strong, be and courageous. Be courageous. Yep. To me, it's like saying, all the things that I went through in 2023, mm -hmm. I should forget about them. Yeah. This is another year. This is another year. So I should be strong. Be strong. I should be courageous. Be courageous. And that's the way he spoke to me. Come on now. Come on yes. now. Uh, Reverend Michael, what about you? Uh, as an assembly pastor, I know for you, you already be planning what kind of sermons you are going to be preaching throughout the year in, in line with the theme. How has it been like for you digesting it and preparing for the year? So be strong, be courageous. Yeah. Even yeah. I started preaching on it before week of the altar started. Yeah. On the Sunday before the week of the altar started. Come on, that come was on. my theme for the morning. For the morning, yeah. Because we need to pre we needed to prepare the people yeah. for the week of the altar for yeah. them to understand. Apostle General always prophesies. He has already told us mm -hmm. that 2024 is a year of recovery. Yeah, a year of restoration. Yeah. a year of reward. Yeah, divine reward. Yeah. divine recovery and yeah. all that. How do you recover? You can only recover when you are strong. Come on now. How can you take over? Yeah. You can only take over when you have courage. Yeah. Because timid people cannot take over. Yeah. It takes strong people to take over and to possess. Yeah. And as he spoke to Joshua, yeah. Joshua had a whole assignment mm -hmm. ahead of him yeah. to take the children of Israel to the promised land. Yeah. And you, 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 you can only get there by courage, by courage and, and by, by strength. strength of yeah. the Lord. Yeah. So 2024 theme, it's what everyone must live by. Everyone, every Christian, every yeah. child of Apostle General, every daughter, every son of Apostle General must live by. Yeah. For, you to, for you to possess your possession, you need to be strong and need to be courageous. For you to possess your possessions, you need to be strong and you need to be courageous. Our Father, the Apostle General says, this year is the year of the supernatural, yeah. and it will take the strong and the courageous to be able to connect into the supernatural yes. and be able to download what is in the atmosphere. Sure. And quickly, I want to take some messages that are coming through. Keep your messages coming through on WhatsApp, plus 233-200-515253, plus 233-200-515253. We are live on Facebook, on Sam Crunchy Ankara, on Powerline TV, on YouTube, and on Powerline TV on your Digibox. You can also follow us on Instagram, Sam Crunchy Ankara, to catch some of the prayer topics and catch highlights of our services. And you can also follow us on Twitter, Sam Crunchy Ankara, to also catch some highlights. Now, um, I'll quickly go into some messages. But before we go into the messages, I want us to um, talk about what happened yesterday. Yesterday, um, we, 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 we had an experience and Reverend Gabby led us through a powerful, powerful time of prayer. And we just caught a quick recap of what happened yesterday. And some of the prayer topics that he punched yesterday, I mean, they were, they were on point. They were on point. He talked about dealing with the magical charms and freeing our souls. And I want us to talk about the relevance of it. You know, some people will be sitting back and be wondering, why do we even have to be praying uh, about magical terms and all these things? I mean, maybe we should be praying that God should give us love, you know, make us more kind, make us more humble. I mean, those are good prayer topics, but what is the essence of praying these kind of prayers um, at this time mm -hmm. and in this kind of season? Okay. I think it's relevant. Yeah. Uh, magical terms. Yeah. You know, nobody envies a poor person. Mm. So if this is the year of recovery, mm -hmm. you recover people who envy you. Yeah. They will use their charms on you and yeah. if you're not a strong believer, mm. what you have recovered, uh, it may be taken away. It may be taken away. Yeah. In fact, I like the threefold prayer topic that he raised. Okay. You know, the wicked charms, mm. the soul, uh, and the, the blessings. Okay. Okay, those were the three. So, so the, starting with the wicked, the wicked, uh, uh, the, the evil charm. Yeah. Uh, what the way it spoke to me is that there are people there who are always fighting the believer. Okay. The the the, the Philistines are always there, not yeah. only in the Bible. Yeah. So so if the adversary is attacking you, mm -hmm. what do you do? 
it goes with the theme of the year. Yeah. Be strong. Be strong. Be courageous. Be courageous. Don't lose your focus. Okay. So the weekly champs are always there. They are always there. You know, it's not always your your auntie, your dead mm. uncle, or mm. whatever. Even your colleagues in the office. Yeah, they could even be working the against chest, you. You cannot be sure. Yeah, you who can't you're be too sure. Next to. <laughs> yeah, so the wicked champ to yeah. me spoke to me very strongly. Very strongly. Yes. Very strongly. Yes. So, uh, Reverend Michael, what about you uh, at your assembly? Which of the prayer topics were they able to, you know, get into and pray very, very uh, uh, powerfully? As a matter of fact, Reverend Gabi yesterday mm. was in his element. Come on. The prayers that he the prayer topics were straightforward yeah were 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 relatable yeah and above all they were very dangerous yeah very dangerous <laughs> and the, the 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 foundation text the executive chapter 13 verse 18 to 20 okay. that he used yeah it was self-explanatory okay without he explaining it we could have even prayed for yeah. one hour no stop yeah because his prayer topic was inspired by experience and evidence yeah because we live with people who don't wish as good we live with people who are expecting us to die mm. who are expecting us to lose everything yeah we we have evil people around us we have people who are looking for our downfall our okay. defeats yeah we have yeah. people who are casting spell on our children yeah our children are sitting in the same classroom with their children you don't know who is and sitting, our, in the who is sitting yeah. with our children yeah so they are using charms against our children yeah they want to take the positions of our children yeah but right house chapel we, we we live with revelation come on now so every year we go with revelation we run with revelation yeah and his prayer topics were very revelatory yeah. and um, he led us to pray casting every spirit of charm every magic charm yeah, everything charm. and yeah. I, I i thank god with the second topic where he said anybody after our soul yeah in fact yesterday since i am with an assembly since i am leading an assembly yeah. i spend most of my time praying with my congregation at the altar okay some of them i pray with them some of them i pray for them yeah so it's a routine for me every evening yeah to be praying with those who are the altar sacrificing and praying yeah. and laying yeah. hands on them and laying the mantles on them yeah and the prayer topic yesterday we pray like never before <laughs> he really invoked the, the 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 prayer life of the church yeah and then it was powerful yesterday was powerful. Was his powerful. prayer topics from one to three very powerful very powerful and um it was fire all over yeah it was and, fire all and over. we cannot it was fire expect all over. we cannot wait, wait, for wait for tonight, tonight. you can't wait for we tonight. cannot wait for tonight so wherever you are watching us from this is what happened uh yesterday at the prayer arena yesterday was fireworks we we're dealing with magic charms and the prayer topics were that god should free our soul wherever our soul has been captured or whoever is after our soul to cause us harm the god should deliver us and tonight we are warming ourselves up for another night of power and glory and prayer Jesus. and i have in the house professor noble and reverend michael who is the head pastor of a grand utah assembly and we are having some discussions so please keep your comments and your testimonies and your prayers coming through and we shall quickly read them now i have this one from jennifer corbina she says thank you jesus for another day and on the altar of fire bless me restore my grace and favor i commit my children's final exam into your hands O lord may the lord restore you and give you favor Amen. this is from bridget abedu she says lord god help me as i come today please lord let me see a greater testimonies so i can be strong in you may the lord give you greater testimonies Amen. bridget Amen. in the name of jesus Amen. um this is from theresa gardia Thank you, Jesus, for another day. I am watching from Liberia. Thank you, Theresa, for tuning in all the way from Liberia. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Wherever you are watching us from, this is Powerline TV, day number 10 of Week of the Altar 2024. Now, I want us to catch a quick recap of what happened on day number two of Week of the Altar 2024. Day number two was with Reverend Papa and he led us to another time of powerful powerful prayer now i want us to catch a quick recap of what happened on day number two and we'll come back your way with more discussions before we go 
into the arena of prayer to join in in the worship and the prayer for the night. So catch this quick recap and we shall come back your way. I stand as the son Jesus. of the prophet of God. Fire. And I declare in the name of Jesus, Jesus. this year 2024, Come on up. you will slay your last giant yes. and they will never rise up again because the number 24 Come on up. is speaking for you. I and I prophesy over 200 people, Prophes your expectations shall never be cut short. Before the end of the week of the altar, you will receive a triple fold of testimony. There was a battle between the Philistines and Israel. Even though the Philistines had been subdued by Israel, any opportunity that the Philistines got and they encountered any giant, they will go and rekindle the war that they had with Israel. 40 years. And again, there was a war in God. And again, the Philistines went war in God. Yet again, there was a battle in God. This is what I call a recurring cycle of negativity. Tonight, prayer talk Topic number one, we are ending every cycle of evil, cycle of bad news, cycle of negativity. Tonight, any recurring sickness, any recurring battle, any recurring cycle against your life, we scatter, we scatter. by the power the of the Holy Ghost. Yes. I don't care whoever has troubled you. I don't care the riches in your family. But the good news is that the only is coming to you to change the narrative. Yes. The only is changing the story. Look at our children cry on the altar. Why will God not hear our voice? Clap your hands and say there is a showdown between evil altar and holy altar. An altar is an elevated position, exalted position, exalted place where people run, approach, for divine help. Welcome back, welcome back wherever you are watching us from. This is Powerline TV, week of the altar 2024. This is day number 10. And we just caught a recap of what happened on day number two with Reverend Papa. And it was an amazing, amazing time right after the Apostle General. And I still have some comments coming through and some prayer requests. And we shall release prayer for you before we go into the arena of prayer. Uh, this is from Sabina. She says, good evening, please. I'm Sabina from Salt Pond. I want the pastors to pray for me to conceive this year 2024 and also travel outside we'll release prayer for you sabina from um, salt pond this is also from um, bridget abedu she says tonight my request is that god should locate me and my destiny help us so i can continue my education in jesus name we shall release prayer for you as well um, i have one year it says that man of God may the good Lord continue to increase the oil on our father's head. Um, he said, by the end of this program, my children will be more than blessings in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. That will be your portion. Now, this is from Asari Amemo Akosia. He said, I'm a third year student in JHS. Even though I'm not a royal, I'm always joining in for week of the altar. God richly bless you for joining in. And she says, I want you guys to pray for my 2024 BEC that God will give me victory. So, uh, one, uh, Reverend, Reverend Michael, you can start with us. You can pray for um, someone is asking for 2024 BEC. So, you can pray for the BEC. And then someone is also asking that uh, they will conceive this year and be able to travel. So, for, so for the BEC, yeah, yeah. I pray wherever you are, that the altar of some Kranchiankra will speak for you. Amen. The altar of excellence. Amen. The altar that promotes Amen. whatever you are believing God for, 
2024 you shall receive in jesus name amen May the excellence anointing of daniel fall upon you amen as you connect with this anointing Come you will now. never be left alone in the name of the jesus. honor that we are enjoying the breakthrough the altar that has been speaking for us Kill will speak for you wherever you amen. are you have received breakthrough anointing yes. possess your possession Come in the now. mighty name of jesus in the name of jesus receive it wherever you are amen in jesus amen. name amen amen now I, I i just saw a quick message that i think uh, we have to read. So this one was from yesterday. The person says, Good evening. My name is Gloria, an online worshiper from Akosombo. And she says, Today's prayer, that was last night's prayer about the charm, brought deliverance to my home. Because just this morning, a black powder was placed in front of my door for the third time. So she says, Pray for me against anyone who is fighting me and my family so the the prayer topics are very relevant yeah, very very relevant and so if you are watching us and you're very skeptical about some of the prayer topics this is somebody sending in a message that the prayer about the magical terms was bringing her deliverance so please connect with your faith connect with your prayer connect with your seed Amen. don't be left out of the prayer don't don't question don't put question marks on some of the prayer apostle general said yesterday that even when you hear some of the prayer topics are repeated still pray them because you don't know what god is doing in the yes. background still pray them and still connect um so um, um professor noble i wanted to release academic excellence for some people somebody is saying that uh, she's asking that her children will be able to do well in their final exams and i know there are some people who are watching and they are preparing to write an exams uh, preparing to maybe get a scholarship for their masters and all of that mm -hmm. i wanted to just release some prayer for grace and the anointing for excellence okay let's pray we pray on the altar of our father and we hold on to the horn that your academic excellence shall not escape you. Jesus. Oh yes, the magician said this must be the finger of God. Come on now. We pray for the mighty hand of God upon your life Jesus. that this academic excellence that you are seeking for Jesus. will not defy you. Amen. Amen. That you will excel with flying colors. That the enemy will not overcome you. That whatever the enemy tries to do to stop you, to block you, Jesus. to prevent you from achieving your goal, it shall, it shall be twice in the name of Jesus not in the name in the of name Jesus. of Jesus you shall make it you shall make it oh yes you shall in make the it name of Jesus in the name of Jesus. Jesus amen amen you shall make it in the name of Jesus nothing will be able to stop you in this year 2024 in this year 2024 the supernatural will speak for us the supernatural is activated in our favor yes. and we shall not fail in this year uh, we still have some more messages coming through this one says that I connect my womb to the altar of the Apostle General this year. Amen. May the Lord come through for you this year. Amen. May the Lord come through. This one says, Good evening, Pastor. I am Teresa from Agogo and shall sent in a prayer request. Hey, four prayer topics. Yes. She's praying for marital favor for her sister, traveling opportunities, financial breakthroughs, wow. and she's also praying that God will. Um, will give her children wisdom and knowledge. We pray that the altar of our Father will come through for you, Matilda. Amen. Teresa, sorry. The altar of our Father will come through for you. Amen. Every prayer request that you shall present on this altar, may you see the physical manifestation of the answers. Amen. May God give you marital breakthrough for your sister. Yes. May God open the door for a traveling opportunity. Yes. Whatever your request is this year, mm. may the Lord come through for you in the yes. name of Jesus. This one is from Matilda. Matilda says, please pray for me that God should help me pay my tuition fees. Uh, Apostle General said this year is the year of supernatural help. Help is coming to you. Yes. Help is coming to you. Uh, Monica says, God, please grant me my heart desires. God shall grant you your heart desires. Amen. Uh, this one is also from Teresa. She says, I'm watching from Liberia. Thank you, Teresa, one more time from Liberia. Yes. Uh, this is from Richard in the usa she says good evening pastor please kindly pray for richard Arno to be favored this year to receive his documents in the usa as he has applied for them he received a notification that it is being reviewed thank you and this is from genevieve we pray for favor favor, favor. the documents that has been put in favor of the lord shall locate it jesus. and it shall be approved yes. and it shall be accepted yes. in the name of jesus yes. more messages are coming through yes. keep sending in your messages to plus two three three 
2005253 on WhatsApp. We are live on Facebook, Sam Crunchy Ankara, on Powerline TV on your TV Digibox, and on Powerline TV on YouTube. You can also follow the um, highlights. You can take highlights from the services on Instagram on Sam Crunchy Ankara, and also on Royal House Chapel. You can also follow us on Twitter on Sam Crunchy Ankara. If you are from the Francophone nations and you are a, Frank, a French-speaking person, we are streaming the services in French on Royal House Chapel, uh, on Facebook, Royal House Chapel, Facebook, Royal House Chapel. So if you have anybody who is from the Francophone nations and speaking French, just send them the link of the Facebook account, Royal House Chapel, and they will key in with their Francophone uh, interpretation. A few more messages and then we shall go in into the arena of prayer now this is from akosia watching from afram plains mommy krobo a hey. she says pastor please kindly pray for me to get a new job the classroom will not be the end point in jesus name Amen. and marital breakthrough this year hey charlie looks like this year people want to marry want to get married <laughs> people want to marry this year uh, this one is from um patrick from asin fosu he said, please pray for me to get a job. I'm sick and tired of being in the room. Please pray to end an, a recurrent heart issues. Recurrent heart issues. We pray for all those who are looking for a job this year. That the altar of our Father will speak for you. That the Lord will open the door for you to get a job. You shall no longer stay in the house. You are, you are being removed from the numbers of the unemployed. Mm. You shall no longer be unemployed, unemployed in 2024. Yes. This year, you also shall get a job. Yes. This year, you also shall be employed Tell in the mighty name testimony. of Jesus. And anyone who is going through God. any recurring problem, Pastor. the altar of our Father will speak for you Jesus. and bring you healing in the name of Jesus. Yes. Now quickly, uh, we'll, we'll quickly go into the, the arena of prayer, but I just want to know what your expectations are going into the night today is the last night of the unleavened bread mm -hmm. and uh, what are your expectations looking at how the previous six days has been what is your expectation going into into the night well i am hoping that since the days that have passed they tend today yeah and have not been disappointed yeah today will be as powerful as, as the, the other days, days that have already come gone. on in the name yes. of jesus so my hope is very high my hope hey, his hope is high his hope is high reverend michael my expectations are high too mm -hmm. and i'm believing god for more fire for tonight come on now i'm believing god for more miracles and more miracles tonight in the name of and jesus since, and since we are going to take the last on living breath, breath uh, I believe that God will work miracle in everyone's life. In the name of Jesus. Because the unleavened bread is a bread without yeast. Yeah. And yeast represents sin, corruption. Yeah. And the unleavened bread is a bread of righteousness. Bread of righteousness. The bread and tonight of hope. And, and as miracles. we take our last unleavened bread, our life will never remain the same. Our lives will never remain the same. The Lord same. will wash away every sickness from our in body. In the name of Jesus. And grant us testimonies. In the name of Jesus. That are overdue. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. So my expectations are high. Your expectations are high. Very, thank you. Thank high. you so much. So we'll go into the arena of prayer. Worship has already started. We'll join the worship. But we'll come back your way with more discussions after the prayer. And we shall take your prayer topics, your testimonies, send them to plus two three three two zero zero five one five two five three and enjoy the service and we shall come back your way one more time. Thank you.
mamma mia Oh mamma Ma come to me Same so Adio why mamma mia Ma cosa vuoi Ma cosa
You. Yeah. 
for me is true your faith in me is tangible and it pushes me beyond my imagination god bless you is somebody ready yes oh is somebody ready yes there's no god like you hold yes sir there's no god like you hold yes sir there's no god like you hold yes sir there's no god like everybody no, sir there's no God like Jehovah. There is no God. There's no God like Jehovah. Not under the 
the sea. There's no God like you. Not up in the sky. There's no God. There's Not no in God your like office. There's no God like you. There's no God like him. There's no God like him. Lift it up. There's no God Lift it up. Lift it up. Tonight. Your God is here. There's no Tonight. Your God is here There's no tonight. God like him. Your God is here. There's no yes. God like Jehovah. Hey, no God like Jehovah. No God like Jehovah. No God like Jehovah. No God can get. There is no God. 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 There is no lesser God who can cast you. There is no lesser God who can steal your blessing. There is none. There is none. There is none. No God like Jehovah. Uh huh. No God like Jehovah. Give the Lord a shout if you believe that there is no God like your Jehovah. Give the Lord. A Shoot for me. Matthew chapter 14. We will start from 24. And I salute all those who have gone ahead of me, even this, this afternoon, for tapping and letting the spirit be one. Give it to me in the NLT, I beg you. Give it to me in the NLT. Come on. Read with a loud voice. Ready? Go. Meanwhile. The disciples were in trouble far away from the land. I prophesy to you prophesy. in this year 2024. Any trouble that is coming your way, wherever you are, yes. shall break. break. I, 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 I lost some people. Let me try again. Any trouble sent against you in your office, in your business, in your career, in your marriage, in your ministry, shall break. break. Let me try the side for the last time. Any trouble yes. that you have not seen, any trouble that you did not expect, any trouble coming against you, shall break. break. Meanwhile, the disciples were in trouble, far away from the land, for a strong wind had arisen, and they were fighting heavy waves. The disciples were in a boat. The boat symbolizes your life. The boat symbolizes your career. The boat symbolizes your marriage. It symbolizes your ministry. Your boat is on a journey. The journey of life. Hey, but some way, somehow, as they were going, a strong wind, someone will say a storm, rose against the boat. A storm. A storm. A storm. A strong wind is anything that threatens to number one disrupt your journey therefore you are a beautiful young lady ready to marry but then a certain strong wind of lies and disfavor has arisen against you and so every guy who comes around the talent don't look at her don't look at her don't. a strong wind a strong wind oh you are a businessman you are a businessman and your business is growing smoothly but then all of a sudden all of a sudden a strong wind of evil people arise with plots of lies and stories and go and tell your customers that you are no good you give fake products and so all of a sudden your revenue is going down going down going down it is disrupting you hallelujah and you may Radia Sama, I did a Juma, I am Matio Huma, a trade do nine, Chichem Wedio no nine, and I radia some said, That is your forno, almost a corn him, almost a boat to him, ah, not almost call, now, 
asrochi kesie bi esori tia o ana nya asrochi ketwa na omo ni asrochi ni die sie na asem oso fo ka chi anwume ni se wo ya ba yo kama kama ah wa wari emre aso na du me bi a asrochi kesie bi tumi sori tia o adwuma bi bi biara wo ye akoso prom 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 wani na na asrochi kesie asori tia o scatter they scatter boats they scatter how do i know you are building a ministry you are doing it for the lord then all of a sudden a certain strong wind arises in your ministry and then now your members are not coming and then now they are going to tell the apostle general that you are not serious and then now all of a sudden your ministry is scattering strong winds strong winds strong winds carry rubbish and wanted materials and put it in your boat see weeds things that will help you and they just put it in your boat to make your boat filthy oh how do i know look at you doing all that you can to take care of your children you are grooming them the best way possible then a certain strong wind called friends come against your children and then now your children don't even listen to you now all they do is rubbish strong wind and from a day day bonsam bonsam share a day new yam Hey, San Framadin Din, Seba, a Sayatia, Nessus Sangra, if you know why the Babby Goods, Napia, I and San Fata. Hey, we are Banudini was a free moon. We are Juma Kama Kama. I said, the one in now, I saw Chi and Framaka, Kabia, Puetia, Bibia, a busy passa, which I when you shall hear ye, near the one some poor Abacoma Age. What is our ma, our Christom, Nasso, so I don't maybe are, and from a din din be a potia, what a sacral main tea. Our prayer in the name of Jesus, I come against any strong wind from the pit of hell coming against my life. Come on, in 2024. Are you ready for this? Yes, let, 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 me, let me tell you a story that will get you angry. A young couple, handsome husband, beautiful wife enjoying their youthful marriage then all of a sudden the lady takes seed so they go to the hospital for regular checks and then the doctor says mm, i see something run a few more tests they run a few more tests and they find that the storm and the strong wind of cancer had hit this lady the family said no we, we will fight so all the young man's savings all the money he had put together now he was using to fight the strong wind of cancer the baby died. Huh? They thought it's okay. We've lost the baby. We will push. But the strong wind said, Who are you? I will come against you. I will scatter. I will disrupt. And I will break your boat. The woman died. I don't know who is here tonight. Come on. Who is ready to battle against the strong Jesus. wind. And say that as for me, in 2024, no strong wind will break my boat. Yes. Bonsam, Bonsam. I buy you a beer on your canoe. Come, come, come. I want to walk. Come, come, come. Now, say to me, oh, can't you Kenya? Oh, now what's your real vampire? I buy you from Fro. I want to call hospital. Hey, yes, it be be done. Chan, yanya check, yanya check, where? Say na kukram. I bet you I buy you an ear from you. I want kumbi. I want funny where? I want say I want funny where? I bet you I'm a man. I want kuya kuya kuya. Anya ye? I buy you from you. A tie ni from a ting ting ya elbow itself. I know ni a pipe where the right hand lifted. Be serious. Shout in the name of Jesus. Tonight, oh God, I come upon your altar and I cry out. And the strong wind coming against my life, my family, my business, my health, my marriage, my job. Oh God, tonight upon your altar, let the storm fly. Let the storm be quiet. I decree no storms will break. My boat, no stones who scatter my boat, no stones who take away my testimony. Lift your voice, begin to pray right now, wherever you are standing up from the back to the front, all the way to the upper terrace. You are declaring out in the strong wind that is blowing towards your direction, in the eastern wind that is blowing out against your business, against your young family against your children we declare on the altar of our father hey, let that wind scatter we hold on and we fast enough 
unto the heart of our Father and we declare, let that way be scattered out. Bible said that the other day, and Jesus told the disciples, let us cross over to the other side. Immediately, there was a strong wind, there was a tempest, there was a tsunami that rose up to the earth. And the power from the pit of hell, and the power from the pit of hell, raising against you in the form of a wind, we declare to scatter your business, to scatter your family, to scatter your finances, to scatter your church. Let them cut fire, let them cut fire, let them expire, let them cut fire, let them expire. Clap your hands up, aha, aha, we are going higher, let the prayer go higher, accelerate the prayer to the next level by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let them be an angelic assistant, we divert in the winter that is coming up, we divert by the heart of the heart of Jesus. Kosaya, lift up your voice. We on the altar, we are in prayer. First prayer topic tonight. And the wind from the north, we declare by fire, we break loose. And the wind of death, and the wind of disappointment, and the wind of failure. By prayer tonight, we build a wall of defense by your prayer. And the body who is blowing a wind to destroy our business, to destroy our marriage. To destroy the academic success of your children tonight by prayer we declare anywhere the wind is blowing from from the north from the south from the east from the west we accept our family by prayer anybody who is blowing a wind of disappointment tonight may they fail by fire as you clap you are diverting every wind and the negative wind uh, carrying filth uh, to destroy we declare right now by prayer go ahead uh, my wedding pray, prayer now clap your hands up uh, lift, lift your voice in the name of Jesus Apela Masuda La Koma Ramna Masuya Apeli Marano Masuda we declare by the blood and the wind uh, of the enemy uh, blowing up me we declare by fire, let the wind catch fire in the name of the Lord Jesus. Lift up your voice in the wind in the form of same. We declare by fire, let the wind catch fire in the name of the Lord Jesus. Whoever is blowing the wind of death against me tonight, we declare, let the wind, let the expire in the name of the Lord Jesus. The Bible said, and the Pharisees. Went out uh, and they planted uh, against Jesus uh, when they clap by fire and the wind uh, that is blowing uh, at your children uh, and the wind uh, that is blowing uh, at your business uh, when they clap by the blood. Let the wind uh, expire by fire in the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, the Bible said uh, they overcame uh, by the blood uh, and by the voice uh, of their testimony uh, when they clap by the blood. Let the wind uh, of the enemy uh, expire uh, tonight of all. Uh, we hold the honor uh, of the altar uh, of our Father uh, and we declare uh, let the wind uh, come in uh, from the pit of hell. Uh, let it catch fire in the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, lift your voice. Uh, there is a wind uh, of shame uh, against your house. Uh, there is a wind uh, of death uh, against you. Uh, Night of God, we lift up a standard in the ranks of the spirit. Lift your voice, they are cutting fire, they are cutting fire. Let it fire, let it fire. Come on, continue to lift your voice in prayer. You are standing against any evil wind coming to your direction tonight in the name of Jesus. We hold the horns of the altar in the name of Jesus. And then when someone against your life, and then when someone against your destiny, and then when of failure, and then when of disgrace, and then when of shame, we hold the horns of the altar and we destroy by fire, we destroy by the power. 
Holy Ghost of anyway, and away and away of the of divorce and away and away of cancer and away and away of diabetes and away and away of leukemia and away and away of failure and away and away of disaster and disaster and away and away of breakdown and away and away of Jesus of trust and away and away of shame and away and away of reproach right now upon the altar of your father hold the heart Hold the heart, hold the heart, hold the heart, hold the heart, and decree in 2024, I refuse for my border to be scattered, I refuse for my border to be destroyed, I refuse for my border to be turned over right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Lift your voice. Lift your voice, somebody. Wherever you are standing tonight, uh, we are standing against uh, a strong wind uh, coming to your direction by the altar, by the power of the Holy Ghost, with the miniature and with the strong, by the blood, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Lift your voice uh, in prayer. We are standing uh, against uh, a new window of destruction, a new window of death. Uh, from the back to the front, uh, lift up your voice, son of God. Uh, you are coming against uh, any wind uh, of sicknesses uh, that the enemy is bringing your way. The wind of cancer, the wind of divorce, uh, the wind of diabetes, uh, the wind of shame, uh, the wind of reproach. Uh, open your mouth, uh, clap your hands, uh, stop your feet, uh, be angry, uh, child of God. Uh, the wicked one does not sleep, uh, he lays waiter uh, and schemer, uh, evil. Uh, the, star know, the star will not kill you. Not kill the, star the star will not come against you. The star will be still, will be still, will be still by, still by the, power the power of the name of the in Jesus. In Jesus. Right now, right upon now. the altar, upon the, the altar. star that was sent against you against today, you. today by your prayer, by your prayer. We, decree. we decree it is over, it is over, it is over. Every star that you are in, every star that they have intended for you right now by your prayer, it is over, it is over, it is over, it is over. Lift your voice. Papa do shakatapa, ila makunde beleketa pa. Increase your prayer tonight, in the name of Jesus. In the winter of negative company that will influence your children. In the name of Jesus. Oh, I can hear you. In the name of Jesus. So we have come in the name of, in the mighty name of heavenly sister. When we call on Jesus, say above, say to him, divinity, yes, who did. Lift up the name of Jesus. And we have come in the name of Jesus, in the powerful name of Jesus. Heaven listens. To the star will listen to Jesus. The star is listening to the voice of Jesus. Our boats. 
Give me the same chapter 28. We are reading to 30. Same NLT. Push it. Says the Siana O Dom Yaya, and Pi Boy, a boy, and I said, I saw Chibia, and Pi, and from a din, din, Piara, one of Nashi Shama, our Fimu, and Yajuma, Yaseno, Yatsuku, Yasudin. Let me help you catch up as to how we got to this place. And so the disciples were in that boat, they were in the water, and on the water, and then all of a sudden the storm arose, and they were frightened, they, they thought we are dead, that is it, we are gone. And then they look and they see somebody coming. Some of them said, mm, it is Jesus. Some said, no, it is a ghost. Then Jesus said, hey, it is me, it is Jesus. Calm down, don't be afraid. And then at this point, Peter sees that, mm, it is probably Jesus. He saw Jesus and said, Jesus, if it is really you, tell me to come. Hallelujah. Can we read with a loud voice? Ready? Go. Then Peter called to him, Lord, if it is really you, tell me to come to you walking on the water. Verse 29. Verse 29. Quickly, yes, come, Jesus said. So Peter went over the side of the boat and walked on the water toward Jesus. Give me 30 and I'll tell you something quickly. But when he saw the strong wind and the waves, he was terrified and began to sink. Save me, Lord, he shouted. Can I suggest to you that the big thing you are seeing and you are desiring, it is not a crime? Let me try this side. Can I suggest to you that if Solomon was able to build God a beautiful temple and Apostle General says that so, I can also build God an oil dome, it is not a crime? Yes. Let, let me try this side. Can I suggest to you that the desire for great things like our mother Mama Rita has desired to build a city of Silo, a whole city with summits and hostels, with recreational places, with rehabilitation centers, it is big, it is fearful, it is scary, people don't do it, but it is not a crime. Ah. Okay, let me come home, let me come home. Maybe you think this one is for AJ and Mama Rita. Can I explain to you that it is not a crime to want a PhD even though you are from a home where nobody has gone to school? Let, let me try one more time this time. This time. Can I suggest to you, Mr. Businessman, that it, it is not a crime to want to have a, to have, want to have a multi-million dollar business here in Ghana? It is not a crime. It's not. Amen. Amen. Peter said, It's not normal for human beings to walk on water, but I know it's not a crime. So, Jesus, can I come? Jesus said, Yes, come. But the moment Peter started walking, he saw a situation. He remembered that this water is boisterous. He remembered that there were storms. He remembered that, hey, 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 I am human. And so all of a sudden, fear engulfed him. Now, Peter, any idea of Christ, and my yes, to catch and say, Omra, on Nancy will show you some running channel. On your idea. Let me break it down for all of us, myself inclusive. You see something, you desire it, you go for it because you know that Jesus has empowered you to go for it. But there's something. A certain limitation, a certain history, a certain failure, a certain thing, something, something, some fear of a thought stops you and you begin to sink. What will be be? You be our corner, you be our niche. Yes, to Christ, I'm out to me. No, as I said, I was sorry, I could go far. I didn't know what come now. So, so a doom, maybe a who about 
be show mu e hunu e hunu o kwaso amasa e hunu show mu a u be hunu na o mem na o mem royal ladies are you in the house royal ladies arise and shine you didn't see it coming you didn't let me try again royal ladies arise and shine can i tell you tell us that it is possible in our 30th anniversary Come on. that a millionaire will arrive at city of silo it is and possible. say i am building god yes. 500 shillings it is possible it is possible hey royal ladies for our hero what is the prayer oh I, want to say, I come against anything that will block or stop the manifestation of your blessing in my life I have desired it it will happen yes I'll be surprised if you don't pray this one. Then it means that you've not seen anything you desire. It means that you've not seen anything you want. See, you have desired to build that business, but then you are remembering that you started and you failed. You started and you lost money. Tonight, the prayer is yours. Let me give you a good example. Hold on, I don't, I'm not going to use a long or a far away story. Look around us. Look around us. If our father had said that, yes, I desire to build God a temple. Yes, I will start because Jesus has endorsed it. And then he looked at the economy of Ghana. He looked at the number of people who give him offerings. He looked at the number of people who will pay tithes. Do you know that we won't be under this roof? Do you know? Nothing must stop you. Nothing stop that father. Anything that wants to stop you, tonight we will stop it. Hallelujah. 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 Right and lift it. Shout, oh God. Oh God. Today, today, upon your altar, I decree. I decree. I have seen. I have seen. I have desired. Desire. I believe. I believe. You have given, you have given me, me the ability, the ability to, make it, to make it, to receive it, to, receive it, to, be, blessed. to be blessed. But oh God, oh God. There, is there is something. There is a limitation. There is a, there is a blockage. There is a, there is a history. There is a, there is a fear. There is a, fear. There is a thought there is a that, is that is trying to stop me. To stop me. Oh God. Oh God. Upon this altar. Anything that is stopping me, anything that is blocking me, all God, 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 all Desire that it is not a cry, it is not an evil when you are driving up and you see the estate up and you see the good house and you see the good schools and you see uh, the money uh, and the wealth uh, and you desire it up. Uh, it is not a cry, but anything called fear, anything called fear that is trying to block you, that is trying to stop you as you clap your hands up with scatter. We declare, let the God fire. You are a pastor. You are praying with us online. And you have laid the foundation. And you are raising up. You are building because of the desire you have seen in the oil tomb. Today, the Lord will grant your heart desire. A year of Pentecostal, where you hear the testimony of people who have given up the message to America, to the UK, to Australia, to wherever. It is not a cry, you will have your desire. A year of Pentecostal, a year of Passata, Rapea, in Tabacosia, in Polo Cosia, Rapaliata, in 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 Rapa
Lift up your voice, child of God. In the name of Jesus, let the prayer go higher. Tonight you are saying nothing will stop you. You are desiring that degree. Tonight on the altar of our Father, we will possess it. In the name of Jesus, and the Spirit that shows up at the point of your breakthrough. Tonight we settle the matter on the altar of our Father. Anything that limited your parents, anything that stop your father tonight we declare as we desire greatness so shall it be in the name of jesus lift up your voice we come against and the storm that will show up on our way of prosperity we declare tonight that beautiful marriage that we are desiring it shall come to pass in the name of jesus we rebuild the house in the name of jesus lift up your voice Nothing will stop you. Nothing will stop your children. Nothing will stop your academics. Tonight, it shall come to pass. We possess it. We lay hold of any good things. In the name of Jesus. In Coloma Cosata, Paramata Tanamata, in Coloma Cosata. Let the fire blaze in the building. It is a warfare prayer. In Paluakata, the methodology is to pray. The mechanism to deal with the enemy, limitation, with any blockage, is prayer. Clap your eyes, lock your voice, and travel as soon as Zion travels. She broke out anything that is in there. Your parents, uh, as for you, uh, because of the order, it will not hinder you. Uh, in Paluakata, the love your hands uh, and travel. Uh, that marriage uh, is a that true. Uh, that marriage uh, is a be established. Any group of people uh, who have done it, uh, Master Mandina, Nico Master, against your marriage, uh, tonight, uh, let the order speak. Uh, tonight, uh, we hold. On your favor, clap your hands and travel in my people who are called by my name to humble themselves and pray. I don't need to go ahead, go ahead, clap your hands. There is a stirring, there is a stirring in the atmosphere. Yes, it is possible. There is an army rising, an army of billionaires. As you clap your hands, you are a partaker of the glory. We are not afraid, for God has not given us the spirit of fear. We have the spirit of boldness. We have the Akandu spirit. Somebody take a leap of faith, take a step of faith, and enter into the unknown. The fear of the unknown We break asunder by the word of the Lord. And my friends, as we clap our hands, we stare at the faith in us and let the giants in the righteous, let them arise, let the miracle arise, let the healing arise, let the riches arise, let the good marriages arise, as you clap your hands, there is a spirit in the atmosphere and there is a release, a release of grace and power, a release of the oil, the horn of the Lord, even the horn of the altar of our Father has been activated right now by prayer and by covenant. We stay at the heavenlies. We stay at the atmosphere for a release of grace. Yes, I can do all things. I can do all things. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens the righteous. Tonight, the righteous, we are in prayer. We are in warfare. We are in intercession. We stay at the atmosphere for a release of the glory, the glory of the Lord. I see an army rising. I see the righteous rising. I see billionaires. I see captains of industries. We are rising. We are not afraid. We are not afraid of the workings of the evil. We are not afraid of the traps. For the Lord is on our side and he is more than our enemies. Somebody lift up your voice. Clap your hands. As you clap your hands, there is a stirring in your spirit. You are rising up. You are moving into your destiny. We are not afraid. Babu Soro, Babu Soro, Muna the Eco, Muna the Imani, the Sunna Jesu, Muna the Fia, Muna Yaki, Muna Trinka, 
Let's go. 
coming. A miracle is coming. A miracle is coming. A miracle is coming. A miracle is coming. Let me try English. He will do what no one has done ever in your life. Shout Amen. Amen. If your neighbor is just joining us, tell them neighbor, don't worry. The last one too is for you. Don't worry, don't worry. We prayed against storms. We have asked God for grace to remove everything that will stop us from achieving what we desire, which He has stamped and approved. And now we are going higher. Say we are going higher. We are going higher. We are going higher. Give me verse 33. Let's do some business there quickly. Verse 33. I want it in the NIV. Please, in the NIV. Hmm. Then those who were in the boats worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. Lele, Bojini Mobile, Nyatafe. See, these people were in the boat. They saw the challenge. They saw how impossible it would have been to walk on water. Even in that situation, they saw it. They knew it. But they said, truly, truly. Oh, how many are you seeing in a mono? I'm sorry, I'm crying, Jesus Christ. I'm here to see, I'm here to see, I'm here to see, and I'm And I like truly for me. Let, me, let me show somebody something. See, what is it that will happen in your life this year? That will make someone say that truly, she came to hold onto the horn of the altar. Hallelujah, bonsam, bonsam. What, what, what will happen for someone to say, hey, hey, truly? They go to royal house, they have an altar, they, they, they have an altar, they, they are sons and daughters of the apostle general. Truly, they believe in God. What will happen? Again, the best see, and I depend on our say, hey, I'm part. Or your apostle general, but can I suggest to you that it has to be something that is unnatural, something that is miraculous, something that is supernatural. See, a miracle is an extraordinary occurrence that cannot be explained by lay mind, it is an extraordinary event. That can only be attributed to divine interference. In 2024, may a miracle come your way. May the supernatural come your way. In your career, receive a miracle. In your marriage, receive a miracle. In your home, receive a miracle. Supernatural pregnancies. Oh, is it because I didn't shout? Supernatural pregnancies. Supernatural healing. Supernatural deliverance. Supernatural breakthroughs. Supernatural provision. Supernatural glory. Supernatural. Supernatural. Supernatural! Amen. Oh, my mother, I can see I'm a sinner. I'm a puny pantsy, I'm a sinner. I'm a pantsy, I'm a sinner. I'm a pantsy, I'm a sinner. I'm a pantsy, I'm a sinner. I
Let me come back to truly. Do you know that when a miracle happens for you, the people around you will shout, truly. Oh, do, do you want to rehearse? Do you want to rehearse? You, you, your babies have arrived. So, your marriage is here. Your family is built. Your disease is caused. Hey, truly, truly, truly. Truly, no, except I'm about to read a few things. If if your portion is inside, I want you to shout truly. If you want to jump, jump. If you want to, if you want to climb the chair, climb the chair. But make sure people see the truly. Because that is how people will be shouting truly for your sake. Ah. When you get the job. Oh. When you get the job. When your family is saved. When you win the election. When you drive out from the showroom. When you build the chalet at Shiloh, when you build the hostel at Shiloh, when you finish your PhD, when you finish your PhD, when you build your five bedroom house, when you build your seven bedroom house, when you travel the world, when you finish the oil dome, when you finish the oil dome, when you finish the oil dome, truly, 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 shout yes! Desire that you will perform a miracle in my life, an unnatural thing. 
yes. in my life, in my life. So, that so that people will say, will say truly, 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 lift up, lift your, up voice. your voice. And begin to pray right now. Child of God, be serious right now in the name of Jesus. Bible said that a man cannot receive anything that except it is given to him from above the supernatural, unless he has received from the divine, from the supernatural. Hey, tonight we have got to draw from the supernatural miracles in the name of Jesus. People will say, Surely, this is the child of God. Julia, this is a son and a daughter of the apostle Tender Margaretta. Julia, these are the children of Royal House of Hope. I hear a beautiful sire in Palatabaha. You are declaring that the whole call may you perform a notable miracle, a sign and a wonder in my life. The people will see and say that indeed that the God of our father, the apostle Tender, he is alive. He is alive. Julia, our God raised up. May the Lord perform the supernatural in the name of Jesus. Son of God, clap your hands up. Lift up your voice up. Clap your hands up. Stop your feet up. We declare the top of miracle. Pray. Lift up your voice and pray. You are saying, Oh God, do the unimaginable, do the unthinkable in my life, in my academics, so that they will know that yes, I thank you, oh God. In my academics, in my ministry, let me pass my washing, let me pass my nonsense, let me carry down my goodness. Oh God, remember me, let this altar speak, just as you remember Sarah and she loved. Oh God, remember me also, remember my marriage, remember my academics, remember my finances, remember me for that promotion. Oh God, give me a new testimony. In pursuit of the post Lift up your voice and be glad tonight uh, by the power of the altar. You are saying that oh God, uh, do a miracle, uh, uncommon miracle and testimony uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, you are lifting up your voice uh, for God can do uh, exceedingly abundantly uh, above far more than you can think. Uh, lift up your voice uh, and say, Oh God, uh, come through for my children uh, this year. 2024, in the education, uh, they will be at the top. Uh, for God has granted you uh, not to be the teller, but you will be the head. Uh, be glad tonight. Uh, oh God, uh, rain upon us. Uh, supernatural miracles, uh, blessings, uh, signs and wonders. Uh, oh God, uh, change our language. Uh, one tangible miracle. Uh, you are declaring, uh, oh God, uh, this year 2024, in that relationship, uh, it will end you into marriage. Uh, you are declaring that uh, in the business uh, you are coming up, uh, your finances uh, is blooming up. Uh, you are declaring that uh, international doors uh, are opening for you uh, for miracles. Uh, you are saying that uh, oh God, uh, for Bible says uh, the Lord our God uh, in the midst of His people. In God's give me that one testimony, give me that one miracle. That people will say, indeed, uh, you stand. Jesus, oh God, a miracle, a miracle, a miracle in my life that will make people see that truly my God is alive, that truly my God is with me, oh God, in everything that I do, let the supernatural rest with me, rest with me in 2024. I decree the supernatural that will cause men to worship, that will cause men to worship right now. Shout of God upon the altar of your father. A miracle is released. A miracle is released. A miracle is released. Lift your voice. Jesus. In the name of Jesus.
Jesus, go ahead, go ahead. Lift up your voice tonight. We are declaring, oh God, do a notable miracle in my life. Back and now I'm in sorry. No one can be out as for your way. Turn that to the phone. Turn up the Yeshua's miracle. Then we'll assure me. Turn up the Yeshua's miracle. Then we'll assure me. Women can't be your way. And if I read it now, I'm not going to be your way. 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 God and our soul, we decree and we declare tonight, uh, may my say uh, of a charity, uh, we serve the living God, uh, may my say uh, of a charity, uh, we serve the God of our personal general, we are declaring our God, uh, our Lord, uh, our big great and mighty doors uh, unto us, uh, our big great and bigger doors uh, into us, uh, in our businesses, in our career, in the educational program of our children, in our health, we declare bigger doors, mightier doors. We declare bigger testimonies, mind blowing testimonies. <laughs> It doesn't exist. It 
can never ever exist. You do not. What you said about me Because you are not a man Those that die Will trust in you hey, But the end of flesh No man No man I confidence in you alone What is hard What is hard Yes and amen can never ever exist. You do not lie. Say it can never. See those that know you, those that know you. Does anybody know him tonight?
You do, you ride a car. You will always not be a land and tenant. One day you'll be a landlord. You'll be a business owner. The degree you have some. The masters you finish it. The director you will become. The MP you will become. Minister of State you will become. Vice President you will become. President you will become. The wife of Vice President. The wife of Speaker of Parliament. Clerk of Parliament. You two when they come millionaires. Can say when we can millionaires. You two shall be counted. You two shall be counted. I see people running to the altar. Run that you are crazy. Because God will honor the word of his servant. The Lord will honor the word. Run to the altar. Run to the altar. When we come millionaires, you shall be counted. When we come people who are married, you shall be counted. When we come people who have been promoted, you shall be counted. When we come people who have gone to the labor world, you shall be counted. When we come people who own their houses, you shall be counted. When we come people, you will silence your enemies. One miracle, they'll be quiet. They will notice that God is God in this country, in this nation. The Lord will silence the accusers of the church, the accusers of righteousness. Those who are against your rising, clap your hands and prophesy. My father, my father, surprise them, silence them. Surprise them. Silence them. Silence them. One notable miracle. One notable miracle that they will say, Surely, God is with that woman. Surely, God is with that boy. Surely, God is with that family. Don't be quiet. Don't be quiet. There is a story in the atmosphere. The Holy Ghost is strong. Oh, mighty man. Those who are crowded, move them away. Mighty man. Let the queue flow. Mighty man. Ashes. Security. Kabodi. Layaba. Yebaba. The storm will be quiet. Clap your hands. Speak to the storm. Peace be still. Peace be still. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Jesus Christ said to the devil, shut up and be quiet and come out of him and come out of him. Clap your hands and that demonic infested situation and that demonic infested situation in your finances, in your marriage. Clap your hands and scream, come out, 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 come out. Come out, come out, come out, be quiet, be quiet, silence, every voice of the devil, the voice of the storm, the voice of the storm, call them, say be quiet, speak no more, call the spirit, the voice of miscarriage, say to miscarriage, be quiet, don't speak again, speak to the voice of sickness, I said sickness. sickness, be quiet, don't speak again, call the spirit and the voice of death, I said death, shut up, shut up, shut up, be quiet, you won't talk again, call the spirit of poverty, I said poverty, be silent, be quiet, don't talk again, don't show up, don't show up, spirit of disgrace, and shame, talk to them, I said be quiet, be removed, Get out, be quiet, be quiet, you will talk, again, I command you, shut up, clap your hands, pray, clap, clap, celebrate, pray, pray, lift up as a prayer, Jesus, Jesus, lift up your hands, yes, lift up your hands,
go and look at the faces of five people for the last time. Because the next time you see them, you recognize them. Come on. Look, look at somebody's face for five people for the last time. He said, this is the last time I'm looking at your face this way. The next time I see you, your face will glitter with glory. Yes. Did you hear that? I want to. That the person, this is the last time I'm looking at you like this. The next time I see you, your face will shine with glory. Hallelujah. I'm a professor. To that, the person, that the person, this is the last time that I'm seeing you cry. Oh, I did not watch it. So, so, need to be a copy for project. So, we took a new hour. To do a new. To do a new. That the person, this is the last time. This is the last time. This is the last time that I am seeing you. I am seeing you cry, cry, cry. The next time I see you. The next time I see you. The next time I see you. The next time I see your face. Your face will shine. Will shine with glory. With glory. Do you believe it? Yes. Go around and tell seven people. I want to show a chair and you put room next to your own set. A free sample for another day. Just to have a who and him set. Prophesy to somebody Give the Lord a mighty clap and a shout of praise. 
Please be seated. What would you do if in your family your father dies of kidney failure and then his brother dies of kidney failure and then you are a young woman just got married and then you started feeling uneasy in your body and then you went to hospital believing that the doctor will say your uneasiness is because you are pregnant. But alas, you came out from the doctor's room and said, the doctor says, when we check your scan, your kidney is failing. When your father has died, his brother has died. This is the story you are about to hear. Ladies and gentlemen, what did God do to our sister Onesimus? Let's celebrate the goodness of the Lord and give God praise. So this is our sister. So this is our sister Nanama and, and her, her husband, and her Pastor husband. Jerry, so, from, from Sege Assembly. Go ahead. What so, did the Lord do? So just as you rightly said, she, be, she saw that there was a pattern that was coming after her and a negative cycle that was being repeated in her life. Okay. But a little background to the story is that in 30, on 30th of November 2022, she says that she has a dream and the dream she finds herself in a prayer meeting such as this. Okay. And the prayer meeting was being led by the Apostle General. And he, you pick her out from the crowd and you begin to pray for her, dealing with the spirit of death and any attack that is coming against her. I, in the dream. In the dream. Clap your hands and say, any arrow. Any arrow. That is directed. That is directed to my address. To my address. I announce to the arrow. I announce to the arrow with my name on it. With my name on it. Wrong address. Wrong address. Wrong address. Wrong address. I divert the arrow. I divert the arrow to the house. To the house of the wicked. Of the wicked. Clap your hands and celebrate your deliverance. Yes. So she receives prayer. She receives prayer. In the dream. In the dream. And then she wakes up. And she wakes up. So she then begins to go about her normal uh, duties and, you know, going about her normal day. And around this time, she realizes that she begins to feel pain in her lower abdomen. And she wasn't sure about what was happening. Whether it was pregnancy. Whether she was pregnant. Or she's believing God. She was believing God for pregnancy. So she went to the hospital. They did the scan. And they said to her, that there is something unusual happening to your kidneys and they were saying that her kidneys had begun to enlarge but they weren't so sure so they referred her to Accra to come for further scans to confirm what they were seeing okay so she comes to Accra this is somewhere January the first week of the altar first week in week of the altar 2023 okay so she gets to Accra and before she goes to the scan she comes on Sunday and she comes with a seed to the Apostle General to renew covenant mm. as she always does on behalf of her family yeah now after this on Monday she goes to the hospital to run the scans now when they ran the scans they discovered that her kidneys had begun to enlarge and that was not the only thing they discovered that she had got two fibroids inside of her system Hi. and not only that they had discovered that her pelvic had now got some inflammation and she was very devastated and wondering oh, where was all this coming from because there is the history there was a history of death of death clap your hands and say and the history and the history of a generational curse of a generational curse i stopped that history i stopped that history and from my time and from my time i write a new history i write a new history with the blood of jesus with the blood of jesus celebrate your new history yes celebrate the new history yes. She will be devastated surely yes so she was devastated and just around that time she remembered the pattern that happened to her uncle and then to her father, father. but she said that this is the week of the altar 2023 i will come and engage the altar come so on. she came monday evening and she came back to see the apostle general after service i remember with her husband in my office there. yeah so she came and you took the the, the report and you made a declaration over her life that she will not die of kidney disease she will not die she will not lose her life and she will see a transformation and a great turnaround so 
What I did was I canceled the negative report in the report. Come on out. Tomorrow, you are bringing your report to this altar. Yes. Every negative thing you are carrying here shall be cancelled in the name of Jesus. Then into positive. Yes. Somebody scream like you are crazy. I receive it. I receive it. And if what you are bringing has positive in it, and you are looking for heavenly approval, you will get the approval on the altar of mercy. I receive it. Clap your hands and say, I hold the horn of the altar. I hold the horn of the altar. So after the declaration, you give her a bottle of water which you had prayed over and told her to take it for seven days. Now after the seven days, she should go back to the same hospital and run another scan. Mm. So she follows the prophetic instruction, instruction and throughout the week, she engaged the altar with her document. Yeah. And she says throughout the week, even during the prayers, she began to see, she began to experience the same things that her father was experiencing. Mm. She was feeling dizzy, she was feeling weak in her knees mm. and she realized that the enemy was coming after her. Yeah. But she persisted in her prayer and she continued praying so after the seven days she decides to go back to the hospital for yeah. them to run the scans yeah. now after they run the scans they told her to go and come back for after two weeks so she goes after the two weeks to get the second report mm. now lo and behold when she got there the doctors were even surprised when they saw the report come on they, they were surprised and they were shocked Start clapping before you hear the good news they were surprised and they, after two weeks after two weeks and they didn't understand because medicine could not explain what was happening come on now so they looked at the report and when they gave it to her for for some strange reason the kidneys that are her large had returned to normal hey! the fiber that was in the system had vanished fiber vanished the pelvic inflammation had vanished. vanished. Everything had returned to normal. Vanished. Everything had been restored. Vanished. Healing had come to her. Vanished. The Lord had taken away her story. Vanished. The Lord had turned her story around. Vanished. This shall be your story this year. Yes. The Lord will turn your story around. Shall I receive it? The Lord will turn your situation around. Shout. Every evil report shall be turned around. I receive it. Your story shall turn around. I receive it. Blessings shall come unto you. I receive the curses shall be lifted in the name of Jesus. So. She began to, I gave her a number. And this number is an Indian doctor. I said, call that doctor and get second opinion. When the doctor saw the report, the doctor said, you don't need medication anymore. You don't need to take anything. Just drink water. Just water. Unknown to the Indian doctor that a professor general had already given her water. Come on. Please, add another title to my name. Apostle General Dr. Sam Hey. Can I hear somebody say Yehovah? Jehovah. Watch this. Then, the doctor said, we are referring you to the most senior on kidney affairs. His word will be final. Around this time, uh, Sweden, the medication that was prescribed for you, how much money were you going to be spending every two weeks 15, for the medication? 15,000 every two weeks. 15,000 Kana cities yes, on medication, medication every two weeks. Every two weeks. So then they referred her to the most senior. The most senior. What did the most senior professor say? So the most senior also ran another scam. Okay. And he realized that true to the report of the first doctor, okay. the kidney had been healed, okay. the system had been healed, everything the had been tested, cleansed. the body is cleansed, and everything had been restored unto her. What did the professor say? So now the professor said to her uh -huh. that when she got to the hospital, the, uh, the, the professor asked her that which, which uh, church do you belong to? Okay. And she said, that she belongs to Royal House Chapel. Okay. And the doctor said that because you belong to Royal House Chapel, just pray because God will come through for you. And the professor also said to her, what you need to, for your perfect healing is water. It's just water. So the Indian, the prophet said water, the Indian doctor said water, the professor also said water. Just water. Hey!
I'll be preparing you on Friday for water next week. Yes, sir. Now, now here's a little, a little taste more of what happened. Go ahead. So, a little background. So, in the dream that she had, she says when you led her to the altar, the altar was an empty grave. And she didn't understand why the altar was an empty grave. But you led her to the altar and you prayed with her. She says that after the report and the doctor said that everything was normal, her body was not feeling so okay. okay. And around this time, it was getting very close to royal ladies camp. Okay. Then she remembered that the temple at the city of Silo it's is called the, the empty, empty grave temple. temple. So she said to herself that I will not stay in the house but I will go to the city of Shiloh and pray at the empty grave temple. And when she prayed at the empty grave temple, her healing was complete, her deliverance was complete, and her whole body was restored. And from that day to now, she has never been to the hospital because God has restored her. Clap your hands and celebrate the goodness of the Lord. Celebrate the goodness of the Lord. If you are sick here, Healing is coming to you now. If your body is feeling uneasy, receive your healing. We receive it. Run to the altar yes. and keep and connect now. to church every day coming to the altar but this very one really shook me yeah of All course what i want to say is anytime you come to church don't take the altar for granted amen any prophecy that is being said on this altar hey. just receive it in good faith come on so into it come on activate it come believe on. in it and come at on. the right time your miracle will come the empty grave that we have at shiloh hey. mommy god bless you it is something else because anytime I go there, I just put my stomach on the wall or I lie on the altar. And it did, it really spoke. The altar is really potent. Hallelujah. The altar speaks. Hallelujah. Let us have faith and believe in our altar Come and the on. covenant that our father and our mother has. Amen. Let's give God a mighty celebration. Give me the oil of anointing. Come. Now, you were expecting that from the hospital she will come back with news that she was pregnant. But she came back with a different news. This time, when she goes to the hospital, she will come back with the positive news. May the Lord shoot the baby in your womb. And may you deliver an altar baby to the glory of God's name. Take it. Take it. Take it. Leave them there. In the realms of the spirit, Something is happening. Seed is moving from the man to the woman. Hallelujah. You better celebrate the goodness of the Lord in this house. Only you can do.
confidence in you. Any day, any time, I have confidence in you. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Hey, let's celebrate the goodness of the Lord in the house. This one, it is the topmost professor that has given her clearance. Now there's some more boys. Abusia, Adan Sidia Wai Adukam, Kastawa Abusia, Yaria, Eko Papa, Aya Harawa, Kidney Yaria, Eko Papa, Eko Papa Nia, Na Uhu Ato, so Nansu Yaminsa, Aya Basa, a Pro Gia Sono, Saba Sano, and what does it dear and Yetu Hano, a Sansa, Yenya Ba, a Bra, a Doctor Forge to Musa Yadiana Banesono, a Hu and a Babono, Nansu Janiba Tua Yakuponi Pa. Nyame abasa wane so, na nyame nsa wane so no, en paibona chino, en na na dansi diye ni se, a doctor for a doctor for a kukudamu yike mu no, yariye no a yira, yariye na frini pa diye mu, ama en ne, a huwa diya, washa ni nsaka, na paibona kula mu. Nonsa shenye kuponyo nyamu ate. Amen. We have some pictures there, put them on the screen for us. The pictures about the deformity. What would you do if you are a woman and ask for you anytime you give birth to a child, the child is deformed? Knees, legs, not one, twice. What would you do? The altar, Royal House Chapel, change the situation. The God of Royal House, change the situation. The God that you have been crying to since January 8th, and you'll be finishing on 28th. That God changed it. So that's the first leg. And the more he grew, the more the leg became K like. Give me more. You give birth, and the second one is like that. So the first one was K, and then this one is V. Give me more pictures. Give me more pictures. Two. So, after the testimony, you'll be seeing the pictures of how their legs look like now by an encounter with the altar. Giving out the testimony is a medical doctor, Dr. Arnold Abraham. Hallelujah. Dr. Arnold Abraham. Can you put your hands together for God already? so we are in the miracle business yeah so this lady is actually not a member of royal house chapel in the year 2017 she took seed and gave birth to her first child who happened to be a boy when she delivered the legs were normal everything about the boy was perfect as the boy was growing up by age three, age four, the mother notices that the knees were actually growing inwards. So instead of the legs being straight, every now and then she sees that the deformity was worsening. What you saw was at the beginning of the condition. Okay. To a point where at this time, this gentleman is five years old and the knees had so deformed that he could not walk well any longer. Oh, clap your hands and scream on top of your voice. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Come on, scream that again. So, the mother was very troubled and decided to seek medical help. In conditions like this, it is the orthopedic surgeons you will go and see. So she started visiting the orthopedic surgeons, hoping that a surgery can be done to correct the deformity for her child. Around the same time she was chasing after medical doctors, she took seed again and gave birth to another child. Now this one happened to be a female. From the day of birth to the point where the lady starts walking, mother notices that in this particular child the knees were not growing inwards they were growing outwards somebody say hey 
Clap your hands and say, I stop the devil in the name of Jesus. I stop the devil in the name of Jesus. For the second time. Say amen. So again, so in the same house, one person, you need to handle two troubles. So back again to the orthopedic surgeons. Then they told her that nothing can be done about the condition until the child is past six years. So in other words, manage your problem. But the mother also notices that my child's condition is getting worse and worse. And nothing can be done. So in the year 2020, that is when a friend introduced her to the altar of royal house. Suffering. Clap your hands and celebrate the altar of the Lord. You have been introduced to an altar that will speak to you for you this year. And this year the prophet has said that the horn which you are holding will make a significant change in your life. But if I were you, I will clap and say, I receive it. I cannot hear you. What doctors will not be able to do for you, may the God of the altar do for you in the name of Jesus. Can you jump and shout and receive it? So, her first week of the altar was in 2021. Uh huh. Because it we was. Were, we were just finishing the COVID. Yeah. So, COVID has ended. We have gone into week of the altar prayers. Then the prophet of the house gave a prophetic instruction that we should take the mantle and apply the mantles when we go home. Hear this one. The lady has been told by friends what to do to correct the legs. And I'll tell you what they told her. They said she should dig the earth and put the legs inside <laughs> and seal it up and leave the children there for some time. Hey. And that the sand will force the legs to straighten up. Hey. <laughs> Another advice came that you know what? We can actually break the leg and hope that when it is regrowing, it will correct. If you were the mother of these children, what would you do? But the prophet had given an instruction. What was the instruction? Apply the mantle. So she said one day she was fed up after seeing her daughter go through excruciating pain with a physiotherapist. Oh. Then she said this matter, only the altar of the Lord can solve it. First night, she took the mantle and rubbed it on the children, the feet of the children. By the time she woke up, Amazingly, the legs have started four hours. 24 hours. The legs have started straightening up. She says she couldn't believe it. Ah! So she was waiting for a little while. You can put the picture up there. Put the picture. The legs that were pulled and gone out suddenly straightened up. That's the girl. The legs that suddenly straightened up. The legs look at Mama Rita's legs. Hey! I, wow! This girl will go to the wedding aisle. She will go. Yeah, 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 yeah. No surgery. No surgery. Just the mantle. Just the mantle. And the altar. Jesus. And faith. My God. In the God of some crunchy Ankara. Ladies and gentlemen, I know you have heard testimonies ah, that you take these things for granted. But for once, rise up and give God a mighty praise. Celebrate. Give the praise to Jesus. By the time 2023 was over, uh -huh. the Lord has straightened both legs. Hey. And I prophesy over your life, aye, 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 aye. whatever has bended in your life, oh. whatever is broken in your life, oh. the Lord is about to straighten it oh. out. Only obey the voice of the prophet. Oh. And something miraculous will happen in your life. Say, I receive it. Hey, somebody run into your miracle. Run into your miracle. Run into your miracle.
to your feet. Rise to your feet. Apostle Prophet Amwakwata is in the house. Hallelujah. He will offer you one minute of prophetic release and then you will go home. The apostle in charge of Royal House Chapel, UK, Europe, Scotland, and Ireland is in the house. Reverend Apostle Dakit Amano. Oh, your club offering looks quite coish. Yesterday, Reverend Stanley Mensah was in the house. But because we were dealing with certain principalities and powers, yesterday the service moved in another way. So we could not introduce him. He is back in the house. A friend of this church, a friend of royal ladies, a friend of Mama Rita, a friend of the Apostle General, a regular speaker here. Please receive the presence of Reverend Stanley Mensah. The Deputy General Overseer of CEM. Your club offering doesn't look like a key. Also in the house is the latest couple and latest student young millionaires who are rising to the next pinnacle of their lives because of the anointing Please introduce yourself, the latest millionaire in the house. Please go around and introduce yourself and mention your name. Put the unleavened bread, day number seven. Day number seven, unleavened bread, put it in your right hand and take the anointing oil. Day number three, and put the anointing oil on your in your left hand. Sum up the miracle of the, the the two sons. One the bone was growing out, the other one the bone was going in, how the mantle healed all of them. Abusafua <laughs> Na nyamia sama niya siya fa ngungu suwano E kwa di jumano Wadi kwa di jumano Anu kwa ni se Seka ya nka Adura nka E naya na asaya Na e kwa bo lege lege Ah Babi adu na nka Aya e nibira pano Nyanku pa uu E mwosani ya yifu Nini chile ya Ah e na E na na ya kama 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 E ma papa kula ade tutu na yire unse Sadi ya na yire una unwa feno Sana ya se ya na na ye Asida uko me ura de so the interpreter you are listening to is called uh, Francis Enoch Enoch is a radio presenter with uh, which station I go TV and Kasapa FM what, what's your show because I want them to be listening eh? Ghana Kasa the morning show and so Enoch is a radio presenter. Uh, he started, he's a founding member of our church in, in Praeso until he was released to Accra, uh, where he's. When he came to Accra, instead of coming to his father's house, he went around visiting some other altars. Wakoya Kobolo. Nanyakopo Shid and Rafi were joining Bifi. Say amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Leading us in a uh, loving bread is executive pastor 
Reverend Papa Crunchy Ankara. The anointing oil will be prayed over by Assistant Resident Pastor Joe Ajate. After that, Prophet Amuakwata will bring you a prophetic one word. And then Apostle Dakit will close the service. This year's week of the altar is on another level. The higher demons we contend with, the higher the anointed. Say yes. yes. And I want to celebrate the speaker tonight. Uh, Fredias, let's celebrate Fredias. On Tuesday, let's celebrate Gabriel Zano. On Monday, Reverend Madonna Kwakupo. Last Friday, John Atiekbe, Reverend. Last Thursday, last Thursday was Reverend, Reverend Adam. Reverend Adam Day, last Thursday. Last Wednesday, Reverend Naka. Last Tuesday, Reverend Papa Crunchy Ankara. And then opening the heavens is no other person. sons to know I am still very active in bed and the one anointing which is coming upon me this 2024 is the anointing to give you a pension baby through Mama Rita somebody jump and say I receive my portion Ezra chapter 6 verse 22 Ezra chapter 6 verse 22 very quickly New King James Shall we read together with a loud voice ready go and they kept, and they kept the, the feast, feast of the unleavened bread, bread seven days for seven days with for the Lord made them joyful. For the Lord made them joyful. One more time. For the Lord made them joyful. This year, the Lord will make you joyful. I receive it. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. In the year 2024, testimonies will chase you. Celebration will never depart your house. Who is receiving this prophecy? I am the one. Shall we continue? And turn the heart, the heart of the king of, of Assyria toward them. To strengthen their hands in, in the, the work, work of the house. Two okay. things that the unleavened bread will be doing for you tonight. Number one is turning the heart of the king towards you. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Any boss at your workplace that you have lost favor with, the unleavened bread is bringing a turn around. Anybody whose husband has turned against you, your wife has turned against you. Your children's hearts have turned against you. May the unleavened bread bring a turn around. May the heart of the king be turned towards you. So they say, I receive it. Say, I receive it. Say, I receive it. The next thing is God is about to raise helpers to support your building, to support your project. Anybody who is putting up a building, a house, a ministry, a school may the Lord raise helpers to come and strengthen your hands may the Lord raise helpers to come and support your project may the Lord raise helpers to bring you a scholarship by the talking of the unleavened bread so they say yes 
Yes. Say yes. Yes. Say yes. Yes. Lift up the anointing oil. Isaiah 61 verse 1. Isaiah 61 verse 1. The book of Isaiah 61 verse 1. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to do what with the anointing? To, to preach good tidings. Preach good tidings to who? The poor. What will be the good news for the poor? Be made whole. What is the good news for the poor? Get money. What is the good news for those who are barren? Be pregnant. What is the good news for those who are at the back? Come forward. What is the good news for those who are weak? Be strong. I declare unto you by this anointing yes. that good news is coming your way. I receive it. Good news is coming to your way. Good news in the life of your children. Good news in your academics. Good news in your life. Good news in your house. I prophesy by this anointing that good news shall surround you. Number two. What again? He has sent me to do what? To he who any weakness in your life, whatever is making you to cry, by this application of the oil, I declare joy into your life. I declare that your heart is healed. I declare that you are up again. I declare celebration. What again? To Final proclaim one. liberty to the captives. And to bring those who are in the prison. Uh -huh. I declare to somebody that by this anointing, a Joseph is coming out from the prison. I receive it. By this anointing, your pregnancy is coming from the prison. I receive it. By this anointing, your glory is coming out. I receive it. Who am I prophesying to? I am the one. And you are not only coming from the, from the prison, but your seat is waiting for you. Yes. Your seat in the palace is waiting for you. I receive it. And you are going to have your garment somebody celebrate your coming hallelujah celebrate your glory yes celebrate your new level yes. celebrate your celebration yes. give the lord a shout yes. a lady stood here and testified and said when she was struck with a kidney disease it was the declarations of this altar that changed her story i can guarantee you that we are not joking here and that God is stirring up something in your favor. Put some oil on the unleavened bread. Europe, Scotland, Ireland, Berkshire, Elephant and Castle, South London, East London, America, Cameroon, Sierra Leone, Nigeria. Wherever you are in the world, in Ghana, Western Region, Central Region, Volta Region, Bono, Ashanti, North, Navrongo. What's the name of the pastor in Navrongo? Reverend Daniel, thank you very much. The, the money you sent in the Momo has arrived and I acknowledge it. God richly bless you. From Navrongo, you didn't hear me. So this is my prophetic token. Because I have obeyed the Lord. In these seven days, I release my job, my helpers, the good news that I am expecting may my expectation never be disappointed in the name of Jesus I pray this prayer I make this declaration I make this confession and I believe the word of God eat the unleavened bread with the oil Sit down and apply the oil on your head, your feet, your hands, and make the declarations that have come.
believe God that this year the Lord will direct your steps into where your miracle is waiting for you. Believe God that God will secure you and preserve you in his love, in his power, in his glory, in his grace. Eat and apply the oil and pray that prayer of what you desire. Place a demand on the anointing. Students, single, married people, single parents, couples, young people, believing God for a job, just speak the word. Tena se na fa enguni bi fa wani ase na fa bi fa onsem fa bi fa onem na nyajidie ensem ayakeka wo hanyina no nyajidie se wo sira urade ho no na bibi e pamu ama ama wo ma wadwuma wo daache wa kontuo ene de ada wa koma so The caretakers of the oil dome are asking worshippers. Uh, some of you like to touch the windows and you want to adjust the windows to suit your comfort. In the event of doing so, some of you are damaging the windows for us, especially in the uh, second level. We are pleading with you, if there is any reason for which you want to touch the window, just send for an usher. We have designated people who have been trained. They will come and then do the adjustments for you. Don't touch them. But in this same vein, we are also telling the caretakers, you know the way they want the windows to be positioned. So if you don't want them to touch it, just do it the way they want before they come. Don't wait for them to come and start touching it and then you bring the announcement when we are expecting miracle and we are celebrating, you are bringing me this negative thing. Now. Take your sacrifice. There are some of you, when you come to the altar once, twice, you get tired. Be very careful because God could be tired of you also. As long as the Lord has blessed you and as long as you have gracefulness and gratitude in your heart, demonstrate it, show it. One testimony that we received here, the Lord said to us, don't be tired of engaging the altar. Don't be tired. Because if you don't take time, once you are cut off the, from the altar, the lesson is that they will destroy your life. Stay hooked and stay connected. You heard the testimony and I want you to follow the testimonies. So take the sacrifice. And those of you upstairs, uh, you can use the offering basket in front of you. But if I were you, once I have never come to the altar throughout the service, I will take advantage. Once I come down, I want to get connected. If you are here and you have never connected the altar because when you came, the service has started. When we close, it is an advantage and an opportunity for you. But those of you who have gratitude and thankful, do this one and bless the Lord for answered prayer before the Lord answers the prayer. If you say Amen, I know you are here with me. Amen. Uh, we are so only a man who is trying to make a prayer on home and with somebody who is not a man 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 who is All right. So he must get the news that the day God is coming with his miracle, that is the day he misses church. He's going to school.
Lift it up. May the Lord accept your sacrifice and your offering as a petition. And may it seal your prayer tonight. And may the Lord come to you speedily with acceleration. And may the Lord not delay. In Jesus' mighty name, we call it done. Somebody shout a big Amen. Amen. Prophet, I'm a, let's finish with this one and then the offering will be the last one and then I will let go of you. Receive my son, prophet, apostle, doctor, Francis Amakwata. Come on. Awesome. Bless them one minute for me. This is your father's house. Amen. Amen. Serve off your hand to my father and your father. And let's bless this great man of all time. Celebrate my father and your father. And let's celebrate our premium mommy too. Love you, daddy. Love you so much. Yeah, mommy, I love you so much. Give me first King chapter 19 and verse 8. Bless. First Kings 19 and verse 8. First Kings 19, 8. So he arose and ate and drank. And he went in the strength of that food for 40 days and 40 nights as far as Herod, the altar, the mountain of the Lord. Who oh, didn't hear me right? So uh, tonight, after eating the unleavened bread, you are about to walk in the strength of the anointing because it is not a natural food and this is not a natural bread. I prophetically prophesy. Ah. Mommy, from here to 31st, it's a journey. And church, anything can happen. Daddy, I came to announce to the church only one word that 2024 on nerds will become a topic you can never get to the top. Hey! Celebrate! Say it again. Unless you become a topic, you will never get to the top. You will never get to the top. So daddy, the more you are making me a topic, the more I am going to. Whoa! Whoa! Somebody receive that blessing. I receive it. From today, you will walk there, you will walk night without weakness, without sickness. I receive it. I prophetically, daddy, the Lord says to tell you that this is the beginning. Hey. You are the voice ah. of this generation I receive and another generation to come. I receive it. Nothing can bring you back. I receive it. You are the voice. I receive it. Nothing can stop it. You are the voice. You are the voice. You are the voice. Church, can I prophesy? Prophesy. Upon this great altar, hey. this nation of Ghana, nothing can happen without the approval of this altar. Nothing can happen without the approval from this altar. Somebody Sim run into this altar. You can never get to the top if you don't want to become a topic. 2024, I salute. You are the living God. Oh. Yes, and no one like you. You are, you are the living God. Oh. Shout. Please come with the offering, but don't go out 
I will bless Reverend Dakit will bless us before we go. Is that okay? Be good sons and daughters of the Apostle General. You, you are, are the living God. Social media network from Europe, from America. God bless you for continually tuning in. But listen, there is no place like the oil dome. There is no place like the altar of our Father. Is somebody hearing me tonight? Whatever wind that is blowing at you, whatever trouble you are in, as you leave this place. I see the trouble leave you. You are departing this place. Having had an encounter with the altar. This altar will speak for you this week. I see 5,000 people being delivered by the power of this altar. You have been delivered from accidents. This week the Lord will lift his countenance upon you. This week the Lord will save you from calamity. No wind that is blown at you will bring you down. In the name of Jesus. We we'll receive it. This week. The rest of it. The Lord will bless you. We we'll receive it. The Lord will keep you. We we'll receive it. The Lord will protect you. We we'll receive it. You're going out and you're coming in this we'll receive it. By virtue of this altar. We we'll receive it. Now may the grace. Of, of our, our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the, the love, love of God, God the and the fellowship, fellowship of, the of the Holy Spirit, Spirit. build that smile, smile forevermore. Amen. God bless you. God for bless coming. you. Good night. We'll see you tomorrow, you 5 30. Make friends. God bless you. Talk to somebody. Talk to somebody. Oh, Give somebody a ride. The God. Give somebody a ride. Give somebody a lift. The angel of the Lord take you home safely. The blood take you safely.
Good evening, viewers. My name is Aaron Matisse. This is the God Oil Dome, and this is Week of the Altar 2024. If you are joining us on Facebook, Powerline TV, and this is your first time, I want to let you know that you are not at the wrong place at all. And if you have been praying with us from day one, God bless you. Thank you for sticking with us this year, 2024. Week of the Altar 2024 is definitely the right way for you to start your year. It's the best way for you to start your year. And I can assure you that as you've been joining us to pray every night and on Sundays at our morning service, your life is never going to be the same. This year, the Papa says, be strong and be courageous because it's the year of the supernatural. Supernatural reward, supernatural help, and supernatural recovery. So as you pray with us, I know that the Lord is going to come through for you. We've been doing, we, we've been practicing seven days of the unleavened bread. And I'm going to speak to a number of people to ask them a few things about the unleavened bread. And they're going to share it with you. Hello, good evening. Good evening. My name is Aaron. What's your name? My name is James. Great. Please look in the camera for us. I want you to tell somebody at home what the significance of the unleavened bread is to you. Okay. The unleavened bread. So for the unleavened bread, our, our, our papa is taking us through the festivals. What do you think that is going to do in your life? Okay, I want the unleavened bread is a supernatural bread that God gives to His children, and I'm encouraging everybody out there that we have been experienced the unleavened bread before. This is the time for you to come to Royal House, partake in the week of the autumn, and your life will never be the same. Amen. God bless you. Thank you so much for speaking to us. And as he said, if you've never participated in the festival of the unleavened bread, this is an opportunity for you. Want to grab it? Make your way to the oil dome. We start at 5.30 p.m. each night. We have another person here. We want to ask him a few questions. So I'll just tell him viewers about the unleavened bread and the festival that we are partaking. Let's move away from the unleavened bread. I want you to tell somebody something you are taking from this evening service. Oh, okay. Week of the altar 2024 is simply amazing. I am a testimony from 2023. And I can tell viewers that 2024 is very exceptional. No, you are missing out on a lot. I can't wait to have you tomorrow so you can experience the power of the oil, the power of the altar. There's so many deliverance and the miracles that we are encountering. The testimonies are mind blowing. So I entreat all and Sandra to join us tomorrow and next week. Wait, you said you, you are a testimony from 2023. Does it mean this is your second year at Week of the Altar? You joined Week of the Altar just in 2023. So I joined Week of the Altar two years ago, but last year was, was just my time. And when God came through for me, my life just moved on. And, and I'm, I'm sure since you joined, you decided that you are not leaving at all because it's the winning formula. There is nothing that, that, that can compromise this. And in my office, I tell people, people are joining online from the office. Today, I brought four people wow. and people are just joining. I'm testifying of the goodness of God in the week of the altar. God bless you so much for inviting people. Next next week, I'll meet you and you tell me you've added 10 more people. Sure, 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 sure. sure. God, God bless you. God bless you. Have a good night. And I he said this is his testimony and he doesn't want to let go you are at home as i said in the beginning maybe it's your first time i want to let you know that this is the right place for you stay glued to powerline tv stay glued on facebook if you are watching our post on instagram stay glued stay glued on youtube and the power from this altar is going to transcend straight into your home maybe you are in accra you want to make your way to the oil dome tomorrow 5 30 p.m and join us on the arena of warfare. Join us on the arena of prayer. And your life will never be the same. I can say for a fact that every single day we experience the power of the Lord. This is week of the altar 2024. 21 days prayer and fasting with the Apostle General and Sons. My name is Aaron Matisu. This is Powerline TV. Power to transform lives. I'm handing you over to the studio. Pastor Trainee Onesimus, take over. God bless you. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been day number 10. What an amazing service this has been. A power-packed service 
with testimonies, with miracles, with signs and wonders, and God moving amongst his people. What a night this has been. With the Apostle General, and we were led by a, in, a, in a time of prayer by Pastor Fedias, and oh my God, I enjoyed myself in the atmosphere of prayer, of worship, and praise. And we will enter into a time of discussion with Professor Noble and Reverend Michael, who I have here tonight, and they will help us um, take a quick some discussions. Please send, keep sending your messages and your comments and your testimonies and your prayer requests to plus two three three five one five two five three on the WhatsApp, and we shall do well to read it and send prayers your way. Professor Noble. Yes. Day number ten. Day number ten. How has it been for you? What is the experience like powerful, for you? Powerful, 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 powerful. The prayers, the prophecies. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad I didn't meet tonight. <laughs> I am really glad yeah. I didn't meet uh, miss tonight. Yeah. Because the bit about the evil wind, yeah. the first prayer topic, yeah. that really just blew my mind away. Mm. Because when you look at things we have passed through last year, yeah. and some of it followed us to 2024. 2024, yeah. It must be the evil wind. It must be the evil wind. Today, we've cast it aside. We've cast it aside. Yes. We've cast it aside. Yes. Uh, Reverend Michael, Reverend Michael, how how were you? I'm sure this is your first time uh, for first a week of the altar 2024 in person. In person. In person. It's it's a total. It's, a, it's it's different. Different from watching it online. Yeah. And I can testify of the Lord's goodness. Um, tonight I've been blown away as the Professor said. Yeah. Um, the energy in the auditorium alone. Come on now. The, 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 the power from the woman of God who led tonight. Yeah. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. And the prayer topic she raised. Um, the evil wind. Yeah. You see, 2022, 2023, Apostle prophesied ahead of time. Yeah. That it was going to be, all these years were going to be a tough years. But 2024 is going to be a year of recovery. Yeah. Which means whatever the, uh, the enemy scattered, come on now. Whatever the evil wind blew away in yeah. 2023, the Lord shall bring it back. So tonight, it, it was a perfect atmosphere, perfect atmosphere for the invocation of the altar yeah. and to also sow into the atmosphere. Yeah. So I really had a good time. You had a good time. I really had a good time. I'm sure the way you are talking, I'm seeing that you really enjoyed it. Uh, those of you are crowding your town. He looks like your pastor. He might not be joining they you. They are watching. Yeah. They are watching right now. <laughs> he might not join you again. He might not join you because he has really enjoyed tonight. And, and tell us about the tokens. Uh, tonight was the last night of the unleavened bread, mm -hmm. and we also applied the anointing oil. Uh, what is the relevance of the unleavened bread and the anointing oil? Mm -hmm. So uh, maybe uh, Reverend Michael, you can talk about the unleavened bread, or you know, look at. Let's see. Look at what Reverend Papa. Yeah. The Ezra chapter 6. Yeah. And uh, how the children of Israel in captivity ate the, the unleavened, unleavened bread. bread. Mm. And all of a sudden there was a revival. Come on now. Me taking the unleavened bread at the sanctuary of the Lord, yeah. at the altar of my father, yeah. I know that everything is settled on my behalf. Everything is settled. Whatever I struggle to do in 2022, 2023, it is settled on the altar. It's settled. The Lord has already gone ahead of me. In the name of Jesus. Our town, our church will never be the same. Yeah, in Where the name of Jesus. Will never be the same. Will never be the same. We are into 2024 to gather all. To and gather to celebrate all. all. Yes, sir. So the unleavened bread, as I said before, we went to the prayer arena. Yeah. It's a bread without corruption. Yeah. And if I have taken the bread tonight, no disease, no enemy can no blow enemy. away my blessings and my miracle. In the name I am of ready Jesus. for all. Amen. Recover all. Amen. To take all. Amen. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. So, Reverend uh, Professor, <laughs> about the anointing oil. Anointing oil. Yeah. As if the level of bread was not enough. Come on. The anointing oil. Breaking of yokes. Breaking of yokes. Whether it's poverty, hey. academic lack, it's broken. foreign travel, it's broken. I will not be a local champion again. Jesus. No longer, no longer. Or international. We are going international. International. We are breaking bounds. You know, when the oil was poured on the head of Aaron, mm -hmm. it was to set him apart from the others yeah. and his sons. Yeah. Today, we have the oil. We have the oil. We sing kingship. Yeah. I'm hearing kinship. Kinship. I'm says. hearing kinship. Kinship. We have been put on the stool. Hey, we have been the put on the stool. The oil has done its job. In Jesus. the name of Jesus. To couple with the unleavened bread. The unleavened bread. bread. Ha, ha, ha. 
today was a day to remember. Powerful. We will always be remembered. We will always be remembered. We'll always. We will always be always. remembered. Yes. The unleavened bread and the anointing. Mm -hmm. uh, Reverend Papa said, the unleavened bread is bringing joy unto us and yes. bringing help us Jesus. to help us mm -hmm. to finish our project. This year, whatever project you have started to build, to build a school, to finish your house, to finish your education, helpers are coming your way. Amen. And the oil is bringing you good news. Yes. Whatever good news you are expecting this year, congratulations in your email. Amen. Because of the anointing, yes. you shall receive good news. Amen. We have some messages in the house um, during the prayers. People sent in their messages. This one says that, I am not a royal, but I joined you last year. I need prayers for my children's academics in the university mm -hmm. to come out with a good class and the firstborn who is also seeking for employment. May the Lord do for you as you are expecting mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. uh, this one is from Agnes. She says she's from uh, Ashanti region. My spiritual father, the Apostle General, has declared this year he is going to bless 500 marriages. <laughs> she said, I connect to this divine declaration yes, and I receive marital breakthrough Amen. in the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. This one also says, I worship every year from OT region. Two of my sons are members of Royal House. One of my sons is passing through a lot and they are all in Palm Branch now worshiping and I'm also in my room watching. Pray for me and my son who is passing Thank you very much for tuning in from OT region. Mm -hmm. We acknowledge your message yes. and we believe that the altar of our father Amen. will speak for you wherever you are. Uh, this, is, this message is from a lady who, uh, to summarize, she, she said that she went, she went to her ex-boyfriend's room mm. to pick something, you know, for, for um, I think, to pick something for her daughter. That's the father of her daughter. Okay. So she just went there to pick something. When she went there, after she left, they were accusing her, or they are accusing her at the moment that she has stolen some money from the place. Mm -hmm. And they said they have put themselves together and they have taken her to a shrine. So she's sending in prayer that we should pray for her, mm -hmm. that whatever thing they are planning in the shrine, no it, will it will backfire. It will backfire. It will backfire. So I want us to release prayer for this lady wherever she is. Father, in the name of Jesus, yesterday, we came strongly against evil charm, in the name magic of Jesus. charm, yes, and, Lord. The, and the charmers. Yes, Lord. Whatever they are going to do, any altar that shall receive your name, yes, Lord. that shall receive the name of any member of your family, Kela the Lord will vindicate you. In the name the of Lord Jesus. The Lord will crown you with victory. In the name of you Jesus. You are coming out of every spell and every charm. In the name you of Jesus. You will not die on their altar. In the name of but Jesus. But their altar will rather promote you. In the name of Jesus. Whatever they are going to do, any incantation, any enchantment, any divination against your life will not prosper. In the because name of the Jesus. Because the altar we are invoking here will fight your battle Amen. and you shall hold your peace. In the, in the name, name of Jesus. You wherever you are. In Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. The altar will fight for you Jesus. and you will hold your peace. Whatever incantations they shall release against you, it shall never stand shall and it will fall into their domain Jesus. in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Because you are connected to the altar of yes. our Father, the enemy Kill will not be Shara. able to harm you Jesus. and the enemy will not be able to touch you Karate. in the mighty name of Jesus. And the other God that has been placed before the ark collapse in mm. mm. the name of Jesus. Any other God, any shrine that you have been mm. taken to, bow to the name Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You are relieved. You are relieved in, in the name of Jesus. In and the name of Jesus. Our Father Apostle General said, the altar is an exalted place. An exalted place. It's an elevated place. An elevated place. Where people approach yeah. for divine help. Yes, sir. As you have already approached the altar, yes, sir. there's a divine help for you Divine already. help for you. Wherever you are. In the you name of Jesus. Under the altar of Royal House Chapel. Yes, sir. The God of San Kranchiankra will be with you. In the name of Jesus. You are not alone. Amen. Amen. Um, more messages are coming through. Keep sending your messages in. This one says, thank you for the opportunity to watch Week of the Altar live on YouTube. Thank you, Apostle General, for the encouragement and blessings. And I pray that all my prayers will be answered. Your prayers will be answered. Yes. It says, this is my first time joining this program. Wow. And I am enjoying it because it encourages me to not give up. Yes. But at the right time, God will come through for you. Thank you for yes. tuning in for the first time. And yes. you are guaranteed that as long as you are connected, God will come through for you. Amen. This one also says, thank God for today. I have been watching and praying with you always, and I want posting to do my internship. Please 
uh, pray that I shall receive help for my tuition fees. Just as we said, the uh, unleavened bread is bringing us supernatural help. Right. Whatever thing we want to do this year, God is releasing help. And Amen. this year, God shall release help us your way Amen. for your tuition fees, for your internship. Help is coming to you coming. wherever you are. Amen. And I will close the curtains on day number 10, week of the altar 2024. And we want to say a big thank you to Professor Noble. Thank you so much for coming to be with us tonight. And Reverend Michael of Accra Newtown, thank you, thank you so much. We really appreciate your presence here. And all our online viewers, thank you for tuning in with us. Thank you for watching and staying connected. This has been day number 10 of 21 days of week of the altar 2024 at Royal House Chapel or BTB Lamte Interchange at Oyodom. My name is Onesimus Tete, and this has been an exciting, exciting time. Don't forget, tomorrow is document night. We are bringing our document, yes. our doctor's report, our land document, whatever document that you have mm -hmm. that, that you want God to intervene in. Yes, please make sure you prepare it and bring it to church tomorrow. Yes. If you can come in the, if you can join us for the in service, please do so. If you are online, please make sure you prepare your documents and put them beside you. And you can also add a sacrifice to engage the altar. Yes. Just as we heard today, a woman who had a kidney disease, mm. by engaging the altar mm. with her doctor's report, her story was turned around. Oh, yes. Don't be deceived. By engaging the altar with your documents, God will turn your situation around. Yes. This has been day number 10. We will see you tomorrow, same time, 5.30 p.m. at Raya House Chapel, Powerline TV on YouTube, Sam Crunchy Anchor Facebook, with another time of prayer, of worship, day number 11 of Week of the Altar 2024. My name is Ondesimus Tete, and have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow.